Hi, everyone. So thank you for joining us for our Let's Get Physical or Get On Your Feet session. Um, this is hopefully going to give you some, some tips and suggestions to help you with your physical activity and just getting more steps into the day and why that's important. So one of the, the first things we tell ask people is how many hours per day do you sit? So thinking about that, a lot of us probably aren't sure. You probably don't have a specific uh, amount of um, hours, but trying to track that over the next couple of days and see how often you are sitting. That is always a good idea and a good suggestion. But for most uh, Americans who are working, they are sedentary for 13 hours per day. Again, that can vary because some of us are more active on, on our jobs, but just on average, 13 hours per day. So not counting the hours that we're sleeping, that's nearly 88% of your day. That's a lot of time. And we want to try to cut down that time. If nothing else, um, it's not just about your 30 minutes of physical activity. You know, that's great and that's what we want you to do, but just being more mobile, being less sedentary. That is gonna help you get more steps uh, each day, as well as just help improve your health in addition to those 30 minutes that you're doing just each day. One of the reasons this is concerning is because, um, you know, some people have said that sitting is the new smoking because you become more at risk for certain types of chronic diseases. It is having such an effect on our health, just as much as smoking has had an effect on people's health. And we don't want you to have those problems. So we want you to get on your feet and let's be active together. Let's be physical. Because sitting is hurting our health. Our bodies were designed to move, not to sit. We have a lot of muscles and a lot of bones and ligaments and all of that. And all of that stuff is helping us improve our health if we're using it. If you don't use it, you're gonna lose it because extended sitting has led to, you know, naturally diabetes, cardiovascular disease or heart disease, but also it can cause you to start having back pain premature death, as well as certain types of cancer has been known to increase by you being inactive. In fact, you are twice as likely to develop diabetes the more sedentary you are. You are 90% at a greater risk of cardiovascular disease, and you have a 49% greater risk of mortality or premature death. So we don't want you to experience that because sitting increases death. In fact, sitting six or more hours per day makes you 40% likelier to die. So we want you to um, be more physically active. So we have this little uh, chart right here that um, you know the average amount of physical activity looking at the different types of, of lifestyles. So the people who are um, sedentary are oftentimes being sedentary for over nine hours per day, okay? Being, doing, you know, low intensive activities. A lot of those people are still sitting for multiple hours of the day. But if you're doing that medium or that moderate level physical or even vigorous activity, you're sitting a lot less. You're being more physically active each and every day. So you, um, we wanna see that uh, number of hours of you being physically active active going up. And we want to see these hours each day of you sitting down, go down. We want to um, see you, you can move however you want. Some people like walking, some people like running. We want to, um, you know, whatever you can do, move at your own rate. This challenge is just to get people to move 30 minutes for 30 days. There are four different types of physical activity. You can do any of the four. We want, you know, the endurance is what a lot of people know that cardiovascular, the aerobic, whatever word you use, but, you know, just moving. And there are different levels. As I mentioned, you can be, you know, low intensive, you can be moderate intense, or you can be vigorous intensive. 
there's, so there's different levels within that endurance, but the endurance is really going to be what gets your heart rate up. If you're at least at the moderate level, that's going to be where your heart is, is moving a little bit faster. There's also strength training. So not only do we want to see that, uh, you know, moderate level intensity, we want to see two days of strength training. It doesn't have to be big, heavy weights. You can have some small one, two, three, five pound weights. You can, I keep them near at my desk at, at work. They, they help me just, Hey, I've got two minutes before this meeting, let's grab some weights and do something ba basic. It doesn't have to be a long amount of time each and every time you can exercise for short durations throughout the day to get your 30 minutes. That's perfectly fine. As we get a little bit older, we're also concerned about our balance and preventing falls. So making sure you're doing some, some stretches, making sure you're you know balancing on, on one foot and see if you're able to, to do that. The stronger that you work on your, your muscles and um, you know your, your flexibility, the better off you will be to, to balance and not fall. Flexibility, that I kind of see as the, the warm up and cool down of my endurance activities. I'm doing my warm up stretches or my basic activities and I'm doing my cool down. So it gives my body a chance to slowly decline back to uh, you know how I normally was. But these are four different types of activity. However you wanna do it, just get on your feet and move. Adults are supposed to move 150 minutes, which is equals 30 minutes, five days a week. We hope that you are doing that and, and beyond each week. That's the, you know, the ideal that we would love to, to see, but at least hitting the 150 minutes. If you're doing more vigorous intensive activities instead of moderate level, then you can do less amount of time. Um, but we still also want to see two to three days of that muscle strengthening. Again, it doesn't have to be for long periods of time. It doesn't have to be extremely intensive weights. Just work in your muscles is important. However you do it. I am at, uh, you know, at work all day long. And some of the days I'm sitting teaching workshops, I'm sitting doing budgets, I'm sitting doing all of that. So even while I'm teaching this or recording this now, stretching out my legs, doing kind of my like toe touches or my toe taps, working on my shoulders, stretching my arms, doing arm circles, getting up and doing squats from my desk. Okay, swiveling around in my chair to, to do my stretches from, from side to side, you know, doing my, um, you know, my calf raises, stretching out my hamstrings, doing lunges, whatever I can do in my office or while I'm sitting, if I have to sit, do that. Some people will even get a, a little like pedal bike or something underneath their desk, or some people have standing desks, so they have to stand or even like a little treadmill underneath their standing desk so they can get work done and be productive, but not be as sedentary. However you can do it is what we want you to do. Get up and move. Even every 30 minutes, set your timer on your watch. Every 30 minutes, get up and move. Even if it's just for two minutes, throughout the end of the day, you'll hit your 30 minutes, no problem. While you're going different places, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, standing when you can, um, even at like I go to the gas station and I fill up my pump and instead of going right back into my car and getting in and sitting down, I'll stand up. I might step, do some side steps at the gas station or just walk in place while I'm waiting for my gas to finish pumping. There's so many different things that you can do in so many different ways. Even if I'm at work taking phone calls, I can stand up and do that. Go for a walk at lunchtime. A lot of us have an hour long walk. It doesn't take me an hour to eat my lunch. So I can eat my lunch for 30 minutes and then I can get up and move the rest of the time. All of that is important and helpful. So picking a time, picking out what you're gonna do, set that timer. I have my clock every, you know, every morning set to wake me up so I can get up and do my exercise before I get in my shower. It helps me focus at work. I've already gotten that done. It's out of the way. If you want to set your timer for every 30 minutes to get up and move for two, that's great. Take a five minute break. Get your mind off whatever task you're doing. You know, if you need to get a drink, hopefully it's water. And that way, when it's time to go back to work, you're more focused and you don't constantly, you know, you're not constantly distracted because you've gotten that physical activity out of the way. 
there's so much technology nowadays to help us, whether you're, you're using, you know, an app such as my fitness pal or lose it, they have websites as well. So if you don't have uh, a smartphone, you can have a Fitbit, a basic Apple watch or a pedometer. I have a basic watch. It's, it's not a brand name and uh, it just kind of counts my steps, but it also will buzz me every 30 minutes to let me know, hey, you haven't gotten up and move. You need to get up and take some activity. Certain watches will also let you know that you haven't had any water today. I use, have downloaded different apps to, to do some workouts. It might be five, seven minute workouts, but I can do two or three or four of those and get my time throughout the day. So use that technology, find out what's in your local area so that you can join. Here locally, you know, we'll have um, a 5K or even virtual 5Ks. You can join a 5K from somewhere else. So you're doing the walking on your own, but people from all across the country are kind of joining in. They're just all walking in different places, kind of like this Facebook group. This is a great place to, to be and participate. Our local Parks and Rec has a lot of classes as well as our senior center. Our senior center also has a fitness gym so that we can go and, and do things. There are tons of workout and exercise videos on YouTube, on Facebook. Use technology in the good manner. Don't just be sitting on your couch all day scrolling through social media. Use it to your advantage such as joining groups like this. I'm sure there are other support groups that you can join and figure out how to get your physical activity in. Thanks for joining us this week for our weekly Facebook Live session as a part of this Walk Away 30 for 30 group. And we hope you are successful to get your 30 minutes for 30 days this month. Thanks for tuning in.